A day after a broad-based roller coaster drop in the market, which resulted from the rising economic fears following Apple's revenue guidance cut, stocks made a powerful comeback, recouping all of their Thursday losses on the hopes of renewed optimism over the U.S. trade negotiations with China and a stellar jobs report. So where do we go from here? Well, let's take a look. The end of the week update is my favorite video to do simply because it's the most difficult. I've got to read the markets to see where we're going and set out the probabilities, but this is where you can make good money. So today we're going to take a look at two quick charts. We're going to start with the VIX, the fear factor, and we're going to look at the two year weekly. And here we are. We hit this point a week ago and we're on our way down. Now, that's the price chart. Looks like things are calming down and what that would mean is that the stock market is heading up. But let's get down here into the Mac and we can see that yes we did hit this peak there and the fast line is moving down. However, but back in this time frame here you see that we had a little bit of sawtoothing and that can happen here when you're in these areas well above the slow line or even on the bottom volatility happens in these areas so there's going to be some volatility but I think that the market is going to start to calm down and I think that the VIX is going to calm down as well but we'll have to wait and see for the fast line to cross through that slow line for me to be absolutely convinced but hopefully we're at least in the correct direction and you see the histogram here we've got a couple of peaks there and there it looks like it is also calming down. The price rate of change is doing a lot of sawtoothing up here, but we're elevated, so hopefully we're going to maybe do a few more sawtooths and then head down. The relative strength is weakening. It's at 52.05 near the midline or the 50. So that's not going to tell us too much. The stochastics, though, is up, and it looks like it wants to try to do some kind of topping process. So we'll have to wait and see. And here the Williams is showing some sawtoothing, but that as well looks to me to be some sort of a broad-based topping process. So I think that the market is going to calm down, and I think uh, in calming down, it's going to head up. Looking at the S&P here in a second, we'll, we'll uh, dice that and see how it looks. But at least by the VIX, it looks like things should be calming down, though we probably still have some more volatility ahead. So now let's go take a look at the S&P. All right, so here we are with the S&P, the two-year weekly chart, and we can see that the bottom occurred here, at least the bottom so far and we've run up here to 252.39. Some would say that that's easy money from the bottom up to here, but I think it actually is uh, risky money. And uh, if one wants to do that, they got to go into the market, and sometimes you can try to catch that falling knife and get cut pretty bad. So I like to wait. And if somebody's going to make this money here, that's just fine with me. We have plenty of room up here to make money. So have some patience. And looking here at the Mac, it looks like we're just starting to try to form a bottom here. So we're going to have to wait another week or two for that bottom to really start setting in as it did here in this time frame there. Moving here into the histogram, you can see that, again, we tried to bottom there and it failed. Now we're trying again here with this uptrend there. So some good signs coming out in some of these oscillators. Price rate of change, we hit uh, way down here, but there's a lot of difference between the slow line here and the fast line. So we can do some more sawtoothing before we finally go through that slow line there. So just be patient. RSI looks decent, a double bottom here, so it looks to me that a lot of the risk is starting to get wrung out. The stochastic, 
Now this fast line has just barely pierced through the slow line there. So that's a good sign in my opinion. Looking at the previous uh, uh, period back here in early 2018, that's what it looked like. So it looks uh, not all that uh, dissimilar. So perhaps that can be used as a guide. Volume, volume's kicking up, but still, it's nowhere near where we were back in the uh, great financial crisis. So I don't think that we're heading into another huge drop in the market. I think this is just one of your uh, normal corrections or bear markets, depending upon what stock you're in. And the Williams, a lot of sawtoothing. Um, still has this downtrend here. I want to see the trend reverse and go up. This is showing a downtrend here as well. I want to see that reverse. So we have some mixed oscillators in the indications, but some favorable oscillators showing a few signs of recovery in the stock market. So I would say simply pick your points pick those stocks, look at those stocks that you're considering investing in, and just be a little bit patient. You're going to look at those individual stocks on your own through all these different uh, oscillators, and something may be ahead of the market, and so you can go in and make your investment. But I think a lot of money is going to be made here in early 2019. Good stock picking is going to happen here in early 2019, in my humble opinion. So for today, that's Chew Dog Charts. Thank you.